Yeah, Paddy, look, the big news, I suppose, mate, since you've left has been Sadio Mane. Sadio Mane going to Bayern Munich. How are you feeling about that one? Yeah, well, ironically, I found out about I found out about that on top of the Eiffel Tower. Really? Are you taking the piss? This weekend keeps just getting better. And it hurt. It it it, it I, I was very saddened by it. Um I was really hoping he would stay. And it's it's also it's a testament to how far he's come back from the brink because there was a time where we probably wouldn't have been too bothered if he was leaving because his form was that bad. But it's he's now he was playing I think he was one of the best players on the get on the in the final the chances he had. I don't know how he didn't score. I mean, I'm sure he's have talked about it, but Courtois obviously was on a mad one. And it's really sad to see. Um yeah, it's going to be a big boot to fill, big boots to fill. But there is no guarantee that the club let him leave in the summer, and that's where I, there could be a danger of of animosity growing. And I don't want that to happen either. I I I reckon we just respect his wishes, and hopefully a club can pay what he's worth to Liverpool. And I just hope the club have identified the right replacement. The disappointment that is, the, the, there was a lot of a lot to love about this season, but ultimately it ended on a severely, bitterly disappointing tone. Um, and we need to go hell for letter again next year. The, listen, to win the cups was great, but listen, if we if we never win another FA Cup or League Cup, I will not care. The Premier League, we need to go hell for letter for next year, and the Champions League. They're the bread and butter. They're the main boys. We need to replace Sadio. It's going to be sad, but I want to respect his wishes as well because I don't want there to be any animosity between us, Sadio, and the club because he deserves more than that, and so do we, frankly. I kind of alluded to this, Chris, for the past few months, but I feel like that animosity may have been building, uh, if only maybe in Sadio Mane's head, because he's done well to keep it private and not into the public. And and again, he, it might just be that he wants that change. It might just be he wants a few years in, in Munich before he brings his career towards a close. But it is, there's no doubt, mate, it is, um, it is sad times, because as me and you said yesterday, he's, he's been one of the... Maybe the the real first signing that helped this club revolution, the biggest one, I should say, the biggest impact immediately. And I want to add as well, Chris, before you come in, that he's been so incredibly unselfish. He's been shifted from the right to the left. Then he was shifted from the left to the centre and never once complained and always put in a shift. Yeah, I think, you know, from the public perception, and I think this is the true reflection of Sadio Mane, um, he's a humble, genuine man. Um, and I think Liverpool do recruit players like that um he's his charitable contributions in 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 senegal are just immeasurable um but i i I don't begrudge him this to be honest he's had six years at the very top with liverpool you might want to just go and play somewhere else Mm -hmm. and to be fair i know it's annoying for us as liverpool focused people but sadio mane like it or not is not like us he is he's not a liverpool man However much you know he's had an impact on Liverpool and how much he might have a respect to Liverpool, he is not a Liverpool man. He, I, I just think it's a career change, to be honest. It's a shame, and I think he's got a lot of a lot to offer. Maybe three, four years left of his prime, but maybe he just wants to move. And fair enough to him. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with any of that. And um, it's been lovely to see as well that fans have been feeling that way, Chris. And as Paddy said, they don't want we don't want any animosity here. Sadio's been an incredible servant of the football club. And yeah, I, I wish him every success if he moves on. But I do I do think Paddy is right. There is a bit of a gap here, Paddy, between what Bayern Munich are believing they can get him for and what Liverpool seemingly want. And it seems to be that difference between 30 million euro and 50 million euro. Yeah, uh, obviously, I think what Chris said there is spot on as well. I think sometimes in life, people just want to change the scenery. That goes for any profession. But yeah, the stumbling block now seems to be the disparity in the price, the prices. Um, and that's where things could become ugly because the club will demand the price rightfully so. They have an asset they value it at a certain price and they have no reason to let them go. Let them go. I do think it's smart to just try and sell him in this summer if he wants to leave to get money for him because to lose a player like Mane for free would hurt no matter what, even though, you know, he's paid back his price tag 10 times over or something like that. But yeah, if Bayern really want them, they'll stump up to 50. I think 50 million euro for Sadio Mane is, is nothing really. I think a solution will be found. I think I think the club will be respectful of Sadio's wishes to to a certain extent. They won't have their pants pulled down, but I think they will certainly try and make this as amicable as they can. I think Klopp will, uh, will certainly feel that way. 